Hello everyone. Welcome to Huawei Firewall Multimedia Configuration Courses. This video tells you the firewall server mapping function, and how to configure this function. Server mapping is also called NAT server. This function maps the private addresses of servers to public addresses, so that users on the internet can access the servers on private networks. For example, in this network, Server mapping translates the address of the Internet web server, from private IP address 192.168.12, to public IP address 1111. Then, Internet users can access 1111 to connect to this server, which port on the server needs to be mapped, and what the port is mapped to, are configurable. In this example, port 80 of the server is mapped to port 8000. Now, let's look at the server mapping mechanism. First, after we configure server mapping on the firewall to map the private server address to 1111, ensure that the upstream device of the firewall has a route to 1111, and the next hop of the route points to the address of a WAN interface on the firewall. After server mapping is configured, a server map entry is generated on the firewall. This entry records the mapping between the private IP address and port, and the public IP address and port of the server. The meaning of this entry is that, for the packets from any source address to 1111 port 8000, the firewall will translate the destination addresses of the packets into 192.168.12, and the destination port numbers into 80. Then, let's see how packets are forwarded. First. An internet user sends a packet to access 1111 port 8000. The packet is forwarded to the firewall. The firewall views the destination address and port number carried in the packet, and finds that the packet matches the server map entry. Then, the firewall changes the destination address of the packet to 192.168.12, and the destination port number to 80. In the following time, the firewall matches the packet with security policies, searches the routing table for the packet, and finally forwards the packet to the server in the private network. After forwarding the first packet, the firewall creates a session entry to record the connection between the internet user and internet server. After the reply packet from the server arrives at the firewall, the firewall translates the source address of the packet from 192.168.12 to 1111, and the port number from 80 to 8000, based on the address and port mapping recorded in the session entry, and then sends the packet to the internet. Next, let's see how to configure server mapping for this example on the web UI. Log into the web UI, choose policy, NAT policy, server mapping, then click add. Enter a server mapping name. Set type to static mapping. Enter 1111 in the public IP address text box. Enter 192.168.12 in the private IP address text box. If you need to map a segment of private IP addresses to a segment of public IP addresses in one-to-one -one mode, you can set private IP address to an address range. For example, you can enter 192.168.14 in the second text box to specify a private IP address segment from 192.168.12 to 192.168.14. Then, public IP address automatically stretches to an address range from 1111 to 1113. The effect of this configuration is that 192.168.12 is mapped to 1111. 192.168.13 to 1112. 192.168.14 to 1113. If you need to map ports, select Allow Port Translation, and set Port Translation in the following part. In this example, TCP Private Port 80 is mapped to Public Port 8000. The port mapping configuration for UDP is the same as that for TCP. As ICMP packets do not have port information, port translation configuration is unnecessary. 
allow the server to use public IP address for access internet, is selected only when the server needs to access the internet. If this option is selected, the firewall will translate the source address of the packets sent from the server to the internet, from 192.168.12, to 1.1.1.1. The next field destination zone, determines the type of security zone that the internet server can access. For example, if you set destination zone to untrust, the firewall translates the source addresses of packets sent from the internet server to internet, only when the destination addresses belong to untrust security zones, that is to say, the source addresses are not translated when the server accesses other security zones. After you click OK to complete the configuration, the configured server mapping rule is displayed in the server mapping list. If you want to modify a server mapping rule, click the server mapping name or the edit button. If you also need to map port 21 of the server to a public port, you can directly copy the existing server mapping rule, instead of creating another rule. Select the existing rule. Click copy. Enter a new name. Change private port and public port. Click OK. The rule is created. You can click Diagnose to check whether the firewall and internet server are reachable. If they are reachable, the status is connected. If they are unreachable, the status is not connected. To use this diagnosis function, you must enable the Interzone Security Policy for the local zone to the zone where the server resides. Otherwise, the firewall cannot send probe packets to the server, and therefore, the status is always not connected. In this example, a local to DMZ security policy has been configured. The matching criteria in this policy, such as the address and service, can be set to any. In addition to the server mapping configuration, you must set a corresponding security policy to allow intranet users to access the intranet server. In this example, the following policy is configured for your reference. In this policy, source zone indicates the zone of internet users, so it is set to untrust. Destination security zone indicates the zone of the server, so it is set to DMZ. Source address is set to any. Destination address is set to 192.168.12, which is the private IP address of the server. Note that the destination IP address must be the private IP address of the server, not the post NAT public IP address. Otherwise, the policy does not take effect. Service is set based on the services provided by the server. In this example, service is set to HTTP and FTP. Action is set to permit. The following items, such as content security and record policy matching log, can be set as required. The functions of these items have been described in the security policy course and will not be detailed here. If the services that the server provides are based on multi-channel protocols such as FTP, SIP, in addition to security policies, you must configure NAT ALG. If NAT ALG is not configured, communications between internet users and the internet server will fail. Here you only need to remember this conclusion. Why NAT ALG is required will be explained in the following course. To configure NAT ALG, choose Policy, ASPF Configuration, select Desired Protocols, click Apply. If the public IP address of the server is not the IP address of a WAN interface on the firewall, in addition to the previous configurations, you must set a black hole route to the post NAT public IP address of the server on the firewall to prevent routing loops between the firewall and its upstream device. To set the black hole route, choose Network, Router, Static Route, Click Add, Set Destination Address to the post NAT public IP address of the server, Set Mask to 32, Select Null 0 as Interface. Click OK.
Now, let's see the configuration effect. Access this address on the PC to connect to the web server. The home page of this web server is displayed. This indicates that the server mapping configuration on the firewall has taken effect. Now, let's view the session table on the firewall. You can see there is a session for the packet sent from 7777 to 1111. Let's view the details on this session. You can see the translation information about the destination address and port number of the packet. The destination address is translated from 1111 to 192.168.12. The destination port is translated from 8000 to 80. This session information matches the preceding server mapping configuration. This is the end of this course. Thanks for watching.